Hello everybody and today we are going to have one more story by Gaiden Pasa and it's called The Baroness and this is part of a series called Master Classic Stories with vocabulary study and in the next video we'll be having a study of the vocabulary new vocabulary that we would get in this story so let's start the baroness come with me said my friend boy screen you will see some very interesting bric-a-brac and works of art there he conducted me to the first floor of an elegant stylish house in one of the big streets of paris we were welcomed by a very pleasing man very pleasing man with excellent manners who led us from room to room showing us rare things the price of which he mentioned carelessly large sums 10 20 30 50 000 francs dropped from his lips with such grace and ease that one could not doubt that this gentleman gentleman merchant had millions shut up in his safe safe means in his bag i had known him by reputation for a long time very bright clever intelligent he acted as intermediary in all sorts of transactions he kept in touch with all the richest art amateurs in paris and even of europe and america knowing their tastes and preferences he apprised them by letter like he made them aware or by wire if they lived in a distant city as soon as they knew of some work of art which might suit them men of the best society had had recourse to him recourse which which which, which means they trusted him to him in times of difficulty either to find money for gambling or to pay off a debt or to sell a picture a family jewel or a tapestry it was said that he never refused his services when he saw a chance of gain boy seen seemed very intimate with the strange merchant they must have worked together in many a deal i observed the man with great interest he was tall thin bald and very elegant a soft insinuating voice it's like you know getting into you and a peculiar tempting charm which seemed to give the objects a special value when he held anything in his hands he turned it round and round looking at with looking at it with such skill refinement and sympathy that the object seemed immediately to be beautiful and transformed by his look and touch and its value increased in one's estimation after the object had passed from the showcase into his hands and your crucifix said boy screen that beautiful renaissance crucifix which you showed me last year the man smiled and answered it has been sold and in a very peculiar manner there's a real parisian story for you would you like to hear it with pleasure <clears throat> do you know the baroness samaris yes and no i have seen her once but i know what she is you know everything yes would you mind telling me so that i can see whether you you, you are not mistaken certainly uh, madam samaris is a woman of the world who has a daughter without anyone having known her husband at any any date she is received in a certain tolerant or blind society she goes to church and devoutly partakes of parties participates of, of communion so that everyone may know it and she never compromises herself she expects her daughter to marry well is that correct yes but i will complete your information she is a woman who makes herself respected by her admirers in spite of everything that is a rare quality for in this manner she can get what she wishes from a man the man whom she has chosen without his suspecting it courts her for a long time longs for her desires her for her timidly shyly <clears throat> wins her with astonishment and possesses possesses her with consideration respect he does not notice that he is paying she is so tactful and she maintains her relations on such a footing of reserve reserve which she doesn't reveal and dignity that he would slap the first man who dared doubt her in the least and all this in the best of faith several times i have been able to render little services to this woman render means give she has no secrets for me <clears throat> from me toward the beginning of january she came to me in order to borrow 30000 francs naturally i did not lend them to her but as i wished to oblige her i told her to explain her situation to me completely so that i might see whether there was not something i could do for her she told me her troubles in such cautious careful 
language that she could not have spoken more delicately of her her child's first communion i finally managed to understand that times were hard and that she was penniless she had no money the commercial crisis political unrest rumors of war had made money scarce very little even in the hands of her clients and then of course she was very particular she would associate only with a man in the best of society who could strengthen her reputation as well as help her financially a reveler no matter how rich would have compromised her forever and would have made the marriage of her daughter quite doubtful she had to maintain her household expenses and continue to entertain in order not to lose the opportunity of finding among her numerous visitors the discreet and distinguished friend for whom she was waiting and whom she would choose i showed her that my 30000 francs would have but little likelihood of returning to me for after spending them all she would have to find at least 60000 more in a lump to pay me back she seemed very disheartened when she heard this she disheartened she felt very sad i did not know just what to do when an idea a really fine idea struck me i had just bought this renaissance cru- renaissance crucifix which i showed you an admirable piece of workmanship one of the finest of its land that i had ever seen my dear friend i said to her i'm going to send you that piece of ivory you will invent some ingenious creative touching poetic story anything that you wish to explain your desire for parting selling with it it is of course a family heirloom left for left you by your father i myself will send you amateurs or will bring them to you the rest concerns you before they come i will drop you a line about their position both social and financial this crucifix is worth 50000 francs but i will let it go for 30000 the difference will belong to you she considered the matter seriously for several minutes and then answered yes it is perhaps a good idea i thank you very much the next day i sent her my crucifix and the same evening the baron de saint hospital for 3 months i sent her my best clients from a business point of view but i heard nothing more from her one day i received a visit from a foreigner who spoke very little french i decided to introduce him personally to the baroness in order to see how she was getting along a footman in black livery received us and ushered us into a quiet little parlor furnished with taste where we waited for several minutes she appeared charming as usual extended her hand to me and invited us to be seated and when i had explained the reason of my visit she rang the footman appeared see if um, mil isabel can let us go into her oratory the young girl herself brought the answer she was about 15 years of age modest and good to look upon in the sweet freshness of her youth she wished to conduct us herself to her chapel it was a kind of religious boudoir where a silver lamp was burning before the crucifix my crucifix on a background of black velvet the setting was charming and very clever the child crossed herself and then said look gentlemen isn't it beautiful i took the object examined it and declared it to be remarkable the foreigner also examined it but he seemed much more interested in the two women than in the crucifix a delicate odor of incense you know, beautiful smell flowers and perfume pervaded the whole house spread in the whole house one felt at home there this really was a comfortable home where one would have liked to linger wait when we had returned to the parlor i delicately broached which means started the subject of the price mam samaris lowering her eyes asked 50000 francs then she added if you wish to see it again monsieur i very seldom go out before 3 o'clock and i can be found at home every day in the street the stranger asked me for some details about the baroness whom he had found charming but i did not hear anything more from either of them three months passed by one morning hardly two weeks ago she came here at about lunch time and placing a roll of bills in my hand said my dear you are an angel here are 50000 francs i am buying your crucifix and i am paying 20000 francs more for it than the price agreed upon on condition that you always always send your clients to me for it is still for sale so that is how the the story ends so you can you can guess what happened at the end she got married to him and he got the, she got the money also 
So that is the beautiful story, a very satirical story, and much more is there in the story as you can see. Uh, we'll meet again in the next video. This is a wonderful story finished by Gaiden Mukasa. Thank you.